Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying Malak's favourite it's uh, a nice wee wet fly, good for the midge feeders and that um, but I mean, what's this a general suggestive pattern? As always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways So, I've got my hook in my vise, it's a Kamazan B175 size 12 uh, You can tie these to 10s to 16s really um, and it's a nice fly the reason I'm doing it basically I had I had thought about doing it and then never get around to it but um, I found out recently that Malachs of Perth has actually closed down um, which is a shame it had been in the game for I don't know 150 years this was one of the flies of this at the 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 founder P.D. Malach I believe uh, well it was his favourite wasn't it <coughs> come up with so I've got I've run on a bed at 8 or um, uni in black and I've got some some gingery hackle we to tie it a tail length of about the body length Just catch that in at the start of the at the end of the shank start at the bend trim my waist the length of the body and now we're tying a wee silver tip on the on the body so it will take some small Silver tinsel, or well, it's a two sided. Catch that in. Take the thread forward, touch and turns. Take a bit of care here just to make sure you get it nice and smooth. And then wind your wee short silver tag there, silver tip I should say and then just control that tinsel until it is where I come forward and tie that off, cut that the same length as the waist and then you can just tidy everything up bring your thread forward Come back, touch and keep your thread turns touching here because it's a stripped quill body. Um, I've got a pre stripped peacock eye quill. I've got to trim away most of the sort of skin from the where it comes on the stem of the feather. I'll just catch that in. You just catch it with that wee skin tag, it gives you the maximum amount of usable quill. Right, I'm going to wind this in almost touching turns. I just allow that wee bit of black thread to show, to sort of accentuate the natural dark edge of the stripped eye quill get to the front cross your thread and then a quick whip finish because I'm going to varnish the body right? there's, there's no sense in Leaving the quill body unprotected. Um, 
you'll get a fish and then the fly's done. I mean, you might not even get a fish, you might bust it on a rock or something. Or... So, just using a thin, a very thin varnish I'm using here. Just coat everything, coat over that tinsel as well. I'll set that aside to dry and I would give these bodies two coats so here's a dried body just put it in and I'm just going to start just the same black thread now you've got a choice here I like to tie the hackle in front of the wing, which isn't the, the true dressing, if you like, um, it, would, it would be sort of the, if you were true to the original, you'd be going with a um, the hackle first, and that's a, a traditional style. But I like to tie the wing first and follow it with the. Hackle, I think it gives you a better fish and fly. Uh, so I'm going to take my wing, which is woodcock primary, and you want a right and a left, obviously. I'm just got my two slips here. They, they can be quite. Um, it should be quite a, a slim wing. Just got to line up. Line up my ends. Put it in. See how my wing is. That's no bad. I like my wing. Just past the back of the hook, should be shorter than the tail. It's up to you if you want a longer wing, fine. Um, tie it how you like it, some folk like a short, a shorter wing. Actually, I mean this fly, uh, it's the kind of pattern that would lend itself to a short wing if you wanted it, tying it like the length of the body. Um, it would make a nice wee sort of, fly for when there's many fly species hatching. So trim away my waist and just come to the front and tidy this area up. And then my head hackle is just a blue done. Just check the length, that looks okay. And it's a hen I'm using. Just a wee cheap Chinese hen or an Indian hen is fine. Tie it in by the tip. Fold it back. Now, I'm just against the wing there, so... Use my scissors rather than try to snap it. Try to avoid disturbing my wing. And then it's just a case of winding your hackle. You don't need too much. It's about two and a half. Maybe get to the third turn. Yeah, that'll do. Um, tie that off. If the feathers, if this fibres thin enough, the stem, you can hold it back. Make sure everything going forwards. Pulled back. Keep your thread tight. And you can just break that away. And then 
and it's just a case of whip finishing. And another. There you go, that's Marlock's favourite. As I say, it's a good one. It can be good if they're on midges. Um, it can be good when they're on olives as well, actually. Um, it's a nice it's a nice wet fly. You could tie it small, tie it smaller, tie it sparser for the rivers as well. Um, but it's well worth having one of these in your box, I think. Good fly. So, hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Headlines, guys. Bye.